We're definitely in a summer pattern now with all of the warm temperatures and dry conditions that we've had recently. And usually in the summer, we're looking to the Gulf to see when our next rain chances will be. And we will be doing that this week. Right now, temperatures for your highs today will be right around normal, 92, 93 degrees across the area overnight tonight, staying fairly mild in terms of those temperatures, 75, 76 degrees. And that is owed to all of the Gulf moisture that is making its way into our atmosphere. For your allergy forecast, low to medium today, grass and oak are those primary allergens. Again, like I said, people are mowing lawns, so that's gonna be kicking up the grass quite a bit around the air. Now, here's the big picture here, and a cold front up here won't really do much for us. That low won't either. Our high pressure is moving off to the east, and so that is opening up the floodgates, no pun intended, for all of that Gulf moisture to make its way in now. Farther to the south, we can see really the impetus for all of this. Invest 91L is the new name for this. Really, it's a disturbance here in the Bay of Campeche, right off the uh, Yucatan Peninsula here. That is going to continue to move north, and you can see this red box. That is the discussion here where the National Hurricane Center says there is a 70% chance of development into a tropical system in the next two days. Tropical depression, tropical storm, that sort of thing. Now, it doesn't look like it's going to be in the Gulf very long, so I don't expect this to get much stronger than maybe a tropical storm as it goes. It will move into northern Mexico, southern Texas, but as it does, you can see all of this convection, all this moisture getting pushed northward. This will get pushed our direction. Today and tomorrow, probably, it looks like we're looking at just a low chance of some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Wednesday is probably our best chance, our best coverage, and then Thursday, I just have a low chance before we dry out for the weekend. So it will bring us some rain here, but it won't be anything overwhelming, won't be what we saw over the course of the month of May there, but it will bring us something, and this will likely be our first named that's first name storm rather of the season called Alberto. So we will be waiting for that here in the next couple of days. So here's how this works out in the forecast. 30% today, 30% tomorrow. You'll notice the winds are picking up here. That will help with the air quality. Low 90s for today. Now Wednesday, really I should have a bigger cloud and less sun there because we probably maybe won't even see any sun at all if we see any, it'll be very little, south winds 5 to 10, but temperatures in the mid 80s there. Uh, that might be a little bit too low. We may still be in the upper 80s, but I think right now, the way it looks, we'll have a fair number of clouds. We'll have a lot more humidity in the air, unfortunately, but that keeps you from warming up too much. So it does look like Wednesday will at least be a cooler day in terms of that air temperature, but it will feel like the 90s with all of that humidity and heat index factored in. Overnights in the mid 70s pretty consistently here. Again, that humidity is gonna keep us pretty mild there. And then just a low chance of rain for Thursday. I think we might still see some lingering uh, moisture and energy from this system. And then into the weekend, drying out and warming up for more normal summer conditions here. So just stay tuned, we will be watching what will eventually become Alberto, could be in the next couple of days, and just low chances of rain for really afternoon spotty pop-up showers and thunderstorms, I think, moving in from the south tomorrow, uh, today and tomorrow, and then Wednesday, 50% chance, that's when we have the highest probability of getting at least some rain. I don't really expect any severe weather here. We could have some stronger storms with some gusty winds, frequent lightning, heavy rain, that sort of thing, but I'm not expecting any kind of organized severe weather there. So stay tuned as we watch the Gulf of Mexico for our next chance at at least some rain across north central Texas.